peeps this is diamond painting with jack and i am jack if you are new to my channel welcome 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 and if you are returning as always thank you for your continuing support today i am going to be doing a christmas premiere um melissa from diamond nana reached out to me and asked if i would like to do that and i was just so honored and I said, of course, and then immediately, not regretted it, but became really scared because I hope that I don't mess this up because you know I'm on the struggle bus constantly. So, but I am going to give it my best, my best work. So, today, my day is actually the day after Christmas, but I am recording this. Uh, Thanksgiving so I thought I'm going to go ahead and get it done before I check it out and come up with some excuse for not doing it so here we are so now the way I have my my table and everything set up you can't really see what I'm working on but I know for me when I am listening to Whip and Chats I am just listening so I hope you guys don't mind I will show you what I am working on. This is from Outdoor Tide and it is a gingerbread man and there is the thumbnail. It's one of the negative, I think it's a negative photo because you can't really, looking at the canvas you can't really tell what it is. But it can't, it does show up a little better on the camera. So I hope it shows up good. This is a 40 by 40. There's 35 colors. I have my Bella Day Art Nicole slot container. And this is, and I apologize, I got this from a uh, company off of Etsy, and I can't remember what the company's name is so but it's a pretty purple tray which kind of goes with my uh, slot holder here I am going to start with number 24 look at this big bag this is number 939 and then my lovely pen that I got as a, a gift I believe if I'm not mistaken yeah it was a gift and then here is my hello kitty fidget cover minder if I can hold it so you can see it I love this thing love it I'm not holding it right I'm not holding it right. I got it. I got it. See, I'm already struggling. But look. Don't get that. And then I just use uh, the regular red wax. So let's get started. We're going to start with um, the lowercase letter E. And we're just going to get started here. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Um, my daughter and I have this tradition. Every year we do the 5K turkey trot. And so that's what we did this morning. That started at 8.30. And... Um, then, then we go to breakfast. Now, I just walk it. I did used to try to run, and I was for a little bit, but my knees are horrible. So uh, for the last probably three years, I've just walked it. And I am with usually with uh, this lady that I used to work with. Her and her family come, so I walk with them. And my daughter is six months pregnant, so she did not walk it. I mean, she did not run it. She walked. Bless her heart. She was not miserable, but, you know, she was basically 
just taking her time, which was fine by me because I would rather her do that. But we made it through. And then after the um, race, then we go to Cracker Barrel for breakfast. So that's what we have been doing probably for the last, gosh, probably I would say last nine years. Before um, they decided that the that Walmart and all of those companies decided to let their families have Thanksgiving with their families, we would usually go and do a little Christmas shopping. But I'm trying to see if maybe tomorrow, if I can talk her into doing a little Christmas shopping. She was like... I'm not getting up early because she owns her own daycare. So she is up and out early Monday through Fridays. So she's planning on sleeping in. And um, I like Christmas shopping. And I love Black Friday Christmas shopping. Um, I am one of those people that... Um, get their shopping done early. So I'm pretty much done. I have some gift cards that I have to get, and that's it. That is all I have to get. So I, I, but I still like getting out there just because it gives you that, I don't know, it gives you that, that Christmas vibe. I mean, I don't like the shoving and all of that, but I do like that atmosphere. So Probably tomorrow afternoon after she gets up and gets around, we'll probably go out for a little bit and um, and do a little bit because she told me today that she hasn't done hardly anything. So it'll be like anything that I find extra will be like gravy. Because like I said, I am pretty finished. I am also finished wrapping, which I am a horrible rapper. Horrible. I did, she won, oh, I can't say because she watches my channel. I wrapped my daughter's gift and it looks very special, but it's wrapped. Normally what I do is Christmas bags, but I have gotten everybody everybody's Christmas is done, like I said, but the few um, gift cards. So, and then later on today, I am going to go over to her, actually to her house, and have Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm excited about that, because if anybody knows me, I do not cook. I don't like cooking, I like eating. But I don't like cooking. So I have a really good friend that has a catering business. And she does meal preps. And so I get order from her every year. So I my contribution to our dinner today is mac and cheese. And I got a sweet potato pie. And she, my daughter loves butterscotch pecan cookies. So I ordered those. So in a little bit, probably about an hour before I go over, I will pop the mac and cheese in the oven and warm it up so it's nice and hot. And then my Thanksgiving portion of the meal is done. I'm taking my diamond painting because I'm working on some off the canvas projects. And so I'm going to want to work on that because I've been working on um, a, a medium-sized canvas. And then I have my big, gigantic one that's over there on my table. I worked on it for probably a good two to three hours yesterday. And I would like to do that, to work on that again. I have been doing uh, a lot of videos today. So I haven't gotten to work on it. So once I am 
finished with this last video, then I'm going to go back to what I lovingly call the monster. But I need to get started on this one anyway because it is a Christmas gift and I am hoping to get it finished and dry mounted and given to the person that it belongs to. So that is my plan. I have been off since yesterday and I'm off until Tuesday. So I am enjoying doing nothing. Yesterday, I didn't even leave my house until about, oh my gosh. I think I left my house like at one o'clock and ran some errands. And then I went to uh, the movies with the, some friends last night. And then I was so tired when I got home, I didn't do anything. I just, I got in bed, watched a little bit of TV and fell asleep and then was up at, I think I got out of my, my work alarm. I don't ever turn it off. So it goes off at five. I hit the cancel button and then, um, I think I actually got up at about 6.30, because I worked on one of the projects, on one of the canvases for a little bit, and then went over to pick her up, and that is it. That is it. So I think I got the ease taken care of, so let's work on the C's. That's the next big thing, and that is I'm trying not to put my head in the frame you know I did two videos where I showed my face and I think I just look so goofy so I went back to just being a voice a body and a voice all right C C is 15 all right, so let's get 15 out. I really like this tray because of the spout, but then, and there's two areas. And sometimes drills, that's what I don't like because the drills will get caught because there's like two areas you probably can't really see it that well but yeah there's like a little divider and they get caught there and sometimes when I'm pouring it out if I'm not paying attention it goes everywhere okay so 15 let me move this down here because I'm not kidding I'm trying not to show my my mug all right so 15 so what are you guys doing today for Thanksgiving are you going out of town or did you go out of town are you staying close to home going to friends for friends giving or spending it with your family And do you have your shopping done? Like I said, I honestly start in the day after Christmas. I, I go to the stores and I usually get, um, look to see what they have left because you know everything is 50% off. And so I'll get stuff like, uh, get things that especially decorations and things like that that is like I'm not paying that for, for that I'll wait till after Christmas when it's 50% off and um, and I'm really good about not giving people their gifts I don't cave and think oh my god they need this now I will wait 
and then I um, also listen to what people say I think that I'm a really good gift giver because I like I said I listen to what people say I pay attention to what they like and so I give good gifts so now I have two and they're small like 30 by 30 canvases one I've gotten halfway done and the other I haven't started so I have the one that I haven't gotten started that may not get done it may, it may be a, a birthday gift because her actually her birthday is in January so I will maybe I will probably will start that then um, it's like you always have these good intentions and then you pick canvases that are huge that you're working on and so you can't get them all done but this is like a 30 by 30 and so if I can get some of these bigger ones that I'm working with off of my table, then I will be able to get started on these little small ones. Oh, this is it, C. Oh, it is. Okay. I thought I messed up already. If I have to take drills off, I'm going to be mad. So, on some of this canvas, it has guide circles, and then there are there is a section that doesn't have guide circles. So I've got to be really careful, really careful, and pay attention. Oh my gosh. You know, I struggle all of the time. All of the time. But I think I want to, now I'm like really yeah. That's the one. There is no paper legend with this which is okay with me because I normally just go by the the legend that's on the canvas. And this legend is really wide. I've never seen one quite this big. But anyway. Because they have like C is in the guy circle and then they have and it's a red color and then they have you right next to it which is also in the guide circle and it's also red that makes me crazy on my canvas that I did a Pennywise none of those they were in a guide circle but it didn't have the dark outline but all of the letters and symbols were dark so it wasn't like you had light numbers, or light symbols on dark areas and vice versa. Everything was one color. So, oh my gosh. But so far, when I'm laying down, the drills are laying down really nice. And I'm not, I mean, I'm just starting, so not seeing, haven't ran across any trash yet. And usually, if you are going to run across some trash, it's gonna be in your darker colors. And I didn't in that first batch that I did, so I'm hopeful. I am hopeful. So what are some of you guys Christmas traditions one thing that I do every year is I have a ugly Christmas sweater party last year um, it it was fun I didn't have a big attendance because we had people that were sick 
and some and people who had other plans. But I did instead of a ugly Christmas sweater, I did a pajama Christmas party. And then we have a dirty Santa, so everybody brings a gift. And then we do an exchange, and then I usually do some kind of other Christmas games. This year, I am doing an ugly Christmas sweater slash pajamas. So you can do ugly pajamas, or you can do cutesy pajamas, or you can just do uh, an ugly Christmas sweater. And then I will pick like some little trinket for the prize. And then we have, we'll do Dirty Santa again. So I picked like a $30 limit. And I like for you to pick real gifts, not like the white elephants where you pick like some trick gift or something like that. And I bought our Charlie Brown Christmas bingo cards that we're gonna play. And then I also ordered off of Amazon this, um, it, there's two two images. There's Santa Claus, and then there's a reindeer, and then there's uh, you have these little like ping pong balls that have Velcro on them, and so then you you're trying to hit the bull bullseye with that. So I got that, and then I am going to also do probably this game that I'm going to play with you guys. A lot of creators have been doing would you rather questions. And so I thought, you know what? I will do that. So we are going to do would you rather questions. Okay, so first question. Would you rather have to loudly sing the chorus of Jingle Bells every time you walked into a room for a week or have to wear a Santa suit to school every day for a week. I think because I love to sing and I love Christmas music, I would sing Jingle Bells every time I walked into a room. <laughs> I saw this meme on Facebook that says, go to work every day and sing Christmas uh, songs loudly until they send you home. So I showed that to my boss and I said, how likely do you think that that, that, that will work? And he was like, it wouldn't. So, and also another thing, we, uh, well, my coworkers, they listen to country music. That is not my jam. Not all the time, but my boss really likes country music. And so he has, uh, someone bought up their Alexa. And so they'll play music. It's, it's, it's in his office, and which is right at the nurse's desk. So sometimes if I'm feeling really naughty, I will go in there and change the station. So one day I was in there and I totally forgot that it was Alexa and not Siri. So I'm in there, Siri, play Christmas music. And it's not doing it. And I'm trying to whisper because everybody's out at the desk. And I felt like one of those scenes from uh, skits from Saturday Night Saturday Life. Saturday Night Live where they have these people, older people at a nursing home and they're calling Alexa everything but Alexa is Jessica, play this. Uh, uh, Susie, play this. And so I shut the door because I thought, well, maybe I'm not I'm because I'm trying to whisper it that I'm not saying it loud enough. And it still didn't work. And then I come out and I think, oh my God. And then I hear someone talking about Alexa and I'm like, that's why. So now, if everybody is out taking care of patients, 
I'll go by and then I'll say, Alexa, play Christmas music. And they know it's me because I also will turn, we have like two, three rooms that have TVs in them. And then we have an area where one of the docs, well, the only doc there that sees outpatients or follow up patients rather. And so I will turn on all four TVs on the Hallmark station and they know it's me because I'm the only one that appreciates fine art. So I have been watching Christmas movies since October 20th and I am not ashamed. Not ashamed. Okay, question two. Would you rather make presents for your family instead of buying them? Or make ornaments for your Christmas tree instead of buying them? Well, I guess I am actually doing both because I consider uh, my diamond art as a DIY. DIY, yeah. So I would, I enjoy, I, I have, I gave a lot of diamond art last year and I'm giving a fairly decent amount this year. Now, if they're talking about like sewing something, uh, no, I'm buying you something hands down because you would not, you think that my Christmas wrapping is bad. If I had to sew something for you, you would be utterly disappointed. So definitely doing I don't definitely doing my counting my diamond art as my Christmas as as my Christmas DIY okay number three and I what I did I just went on Google and I put in would you rather questions and they came up and then uh, to get to this holiday one I just put in would you rather Christmas I mean holiday questions and these showed up so that's how I found this okay would you rather not celebrate Christmas this year or not celebrate your birthday this year Oh, wow. That is very hard. Because I don't have a birthday. I have a birthday month. I start celebrating my birthday the 1st of March through the 31st. I think it's 31 days in March. That would be hard. But you know what? I am not that self-centered that I would not, I would miss seeing everybody's faces because I love buying Christmas gifts because I love watching the face light up and I, especially if you get that right gift. So I would um, forego my birthday and celebrate Christmas and somehow try to get my birthday in the month of December. No, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. Okay, next question. Would you rather have Frosty the Snowman for a friend or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for a friend? I'm going to have to go with Rudolph because I am cold all of the time. So I would have to go outside to hang out with Frosty. And then I would also mean that I would have to be in the... That means it would have to be snow. And I am not about that life. I want it to be 100 degrees all year round 
And I feel like with Rudolph, I could put him in the barn, even if it was snowing. And I would give him a little heater and he would love it there. So Rudolph would be my buddy. Okay. Next question. Would you rather have mistletoe hanging in your bedroom doorway or have a large decorated Christmas tree in your bedroom doorway? That is it. Okay. So that means you can't get into your door? I guess if that's the case, since I live alone, I, I'm safe. So I guess I'm going to say mistletoe hanging in my bedroom doorway. That's a goofy, goofy question. All right, so my next color is going to be, uh, let's see. This plastic hangs way, way over. Normally, I would put down parchment paper, but I didn't do that. So when I finish with this video, I would definitely pull this paper off and get put my parchment paper down. Okay, so N is 20. I love this slot holder. It is so wonderful because I would have bags all over my table so this is the best buy and I am going to go back and get she had a 32 slot and a 48 slot but the 48 was sold out but I am going to go back and get the 30 I mean the 48 Okay, we are at, next question. Would you rather have Christmas tree tinsel for hair or have fingernails that light up like Christmas lights? Well, that's an easy one because I don't have that much hair, so Christmas tree lights on my fingernails. I don't know how the hospital would care for that but that's I that's what I would choose because I need to get my nails redone and I need to pick out a nice Christmas color so I'll probably go with red and then I will have them put a Christmas decoration on it on two of them so yes Christmas light fingernails all the way all the way and I don't do the really long nails I don't know how some people do work with them I because I am on the computer every day and how people can type with those long nails is beyond me because after when mine start getting too long when I go back, because I do the dip because it lasts longer, and the young lady that I go to is absolutely fabulous. I love her. So I have her cut my nails down, and I keep them really short. So, and I got my nails done like a couple of weeks ago, and they're just now starting to to grow out and they're perfect so I am and I also need a pedicure so bad I mean you know you can get away with getting your feet your feet getting your feet done because you're wearing your it's winter and you're in shoes but you guys if I could fly and I could hover over a lake, I could literally pick fish out with my 
toes. So I need a pedicure in the worst way. Please don't judge me. Okay, next a question. Oh, this is easy. Oh, I don't know. Would you rather eat your cereal with eggnog instead of milk or eat a candy cane sandwich? Sandwich. I'm going to say neither to those because I don't like eggnog. I mean, I guess if I absolutely had to, no, no, I would do neither. I don't like eggnog. And, you know, and everyone's like, you just haven't had the right eggnog. I don't like anybody's eggnog. And I cannot imagine a candy cane sandwich. That sounds absolutely awful. So I am going to say no to both of those. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. Okay. Would you rather live in a giant gingerbread house or ride on the Polar Express? So does that mean that you can't ever get off the Polar Express or you just ride on it for a little bit and then get off? I don't know. I guess if I'm just stuck on the Polar Express forever, I'm going to say I would rather live in a giant gingerbread house because I can also diamond paint while I'm at home and eat parts of my house for dessert. Although I'm not really a gingerbread kind of a girl, but I don't mind gingerbread. It's not like one of those cookies that I would gravitate to first. So, but I guess I don't want to be on the train forever. So I'm living in the gingerbread, bringing all of my diamond art with me and doing that. Okay. Would you rather be allowed to only eat fruitcake for two days or be allowed to only eat candy canes for two days. Oh, that is easy. Candy cane for two days. I do not under any circumstance, any, any circumstance do I want to eat fruitcake. It looks disgusting and I'm sorry if you guys out there, if there's someone out there that really likes fruitcake, there, there is absolutely no need for fruitcake in my life. I will say that. I would not. Absolutely not. So, it is candy canes all the way. And I'm, t I'm taking it that, um, uh, there is no other food that can be introduced in t in those two days, but yeah, it's uh, yeah candy, candy cane. Okay, would you rather write a five paragraph essay about the meaning of Christmas, or solve a page of Christmas themed math problems? Oh my God. Well, I really suck at math, but a five-page essay, I don't know. That's, that is a hard one. I guess if I am doing it on the computer, I guess I would go with the essay. And I could talk about the meaning of Christmas to me in a five-page paragraph. I mean, a, in a five... What was the question? I've lost it. Five-paragraph essay. Because Christmas is like one of my favorite holidays. Also, the only thing that I like about winter is Christmas. And for 
Now, I guess really Octo uh, Halloween is really fall. So, yeah. So, yeah. Christmas is the only holiday. It's the only reason that I like winter. If it could snow possibly like Christmas Eve and you were already where you were going to be with your friends or family and then all melt and be 90 degrees by 5 o'clock I would deal with snow but other than that no no all right would you rather be given a hundred dollars for Christmas to buy things for yourself or be given ten thousand dollars before Christmas to use to buy gifts for other people oh well that's easy I could buy a lot of Christmas because I love to shop as you I, I as, as I have said I love to buy gifts for other people and shopping is like my second favorite hobby. So I would take the money and I, oh my gosh, I should be gone all day. One year my daughter and I, because she owns a daycare, she would go and get new toys for the daycare. And one Christmas, Black Friday, I am not kidding you guys, we left and were out at the stores, I think like at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock at the very latest. And we shopped all day. In fact, we ate breakfast out, we ate lunch out, and we ate dinner out. Our car was so full that we had to make a little path so that we could see to drive. That is how serious that we shop. So we shop from, I'm going to say 3.30 until, I think we got home like at 10 o'clock that night. I am not kidding. I love to shop. And if you give me somebody else's money to shop with, oh my God, I could be gone for three days. Three days. All right. Uh, let's see. Would you rather get many small presents for Christmas or get one big present for Christmas? I think... I don't know. I guess it depends on what the big present is and what the small presents are. I am very easy to shop for. Very, very easy. I, I mean, Hello Kitty. Everybody knows that I love Hello Kitty. So there are like 8,000 things that you can buy in Hello Kitty. T-shirts, sleepwear. I, that's another thing. I love pajamas. Love pajamas. So, and, I, and I'm not, honestly, you don't have to buy like expensive gifts. I mean, I like small things. Diamond, oh my God, diamond paintings, oh, S accessories, oh, I would just be in heaven. I'm going to put you guys on pause for just a second because my daughter just called and I need to see what's going on. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My daughter called and um, I didn't realize I was supposed to be at at her house at 4 and uh, I didn't realize how late it was so we're going to do a few more questions 
I think I was like at 45 minutes when I stopped. So we'll just do more, a few more questions. Okay. So we left off. Would you rather have a job wrapping presents at the mall or have a job taking pictures of children sitting on Santa's lap at the mall? That is very easy, taking pictures, because I said earlier that wrapping gifts are, is not my forte, so I would definitely take pictures, because you do not want to see my, my wrapping. It is not pretty at all. Okay. Next question is, would you rather spend a day watching Christmas videos or spend a day Christmas shopping at the mall? Now that is a hard one because I love doing both of those things. So I'm, I don't know. I, I'm going to go with shop. Not, not, I'm not shopping. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to go with shopping at the mall. I would be a happy camper. A happy, 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 happy camper. Okay. Oh, that was the last question. That is the, that was the last question. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what else I can talk to you about. I just want to get a couple more uh, done. Oh my gosh. Do you guys do this? It's like I swear I look at everything, put that color away, and then as soon as I do, I find, I feel like 75 more of that same color that I just put away. All right. So I'm gonna get the seeds out again, because I missed a whole row of them. The C was 15, which is right here. All right. And I, in between getting, answering the phone and getting up, I have lost my pen, but that's okay. I have plenty of backups. So I am interested really in what you guys Christmas traditions are. What do you and your family do every holiday? How do you, um, do you guys pull names? Because, you know, a lot of people will say, I'm not buying for these grown folks. I'm buying for the grandkids. But I like buying for everyone or getting something for everyone. So um, that's what I do. My son, well, my daughter's married as well, but usually for my son, his birthday is the 19th of December. So he goes to his wife's family for Christmas. And so what we do is we get together as close to his birthday, if it's if it's on a weekend or the week before Christmas, and we do our Christmas slash his birthday that day. And um, and this just looks like Christmas has thrown up because there's gifts everywhere. But really what I do for the grandkids is that I buy a lot of small stuff 
and I put them in a lot of small bags so it gives them the illusion that they're getting more gifts. You will go with you, which is number one. So they really like that because like I said, it makes them think that they're getting a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I always tell people, my family, to tell me what what one big gift that they want and then I get smaller things um, for them so I do things like that and then also for my son he loves tiramisu and he is the only one so every year I go to this really wonderful bakery here that has great or he loves it I'm not really a tiramisu kind of a girl if I'm going to do um, desserts I like I like cakes but I usually just eat the inside and leave the icing because I can't do a lot of real, a lot of sweets, because it becomes too overpowering. And the same thing with cookies. Like I love what they call uh, tea cakes, because they are kind of thick, and they they they're like a sugar cookie, but they're thicker. And if they're done right, they are. Sweet, but not overpowering sweet. You guys, I have been talking for the last five minutes. And my camera was off. You know what? I think I need to uh, delete some stuff. So it's giving me that countdown. So I am going to let you guys go before I have to be cut off again so if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button on the way out if you would like to be a part of my dysfunctional very dysfunctional uh, struggle bus family please hit the subscription button and also hit the bell to be notified each and every time thank you so much again uh, Dami and Nana uh, Melissa for allowing me and asking me to be a part of the Christmas premiere. I, I had such a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed the Would You Rather questions. And I hope you had a happy, happy, happy holiday. And remember to be kind to one another. Keep cool and keep diamond painting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.